This is the SenseLab Quick Keys. Hands down, this is the best editing tool I've used for both video and photos. And I'm gonna show you why. So this has to be the best editing tool I've used to date. Now this is not sponsored, this was a gift for me at Christmas and I've been using it since then. And I have to say it has reduced my editing time down massively. This allows you to program so many banks of shortcuts within each program, it just speeds up the whole process. We're gonna go through how it's set up and how I actually use it. I've been using it a ton in both Final Cut Pro and Photoshop, but you can use it in so many different editing programs. It's unbelievable and it helps you reduce the time it takes and actually makes the process a lot easier and actually makes it a lot more enjoyable. So let's get into how I use this in my editing process. First things first though, we'll take a look at what you actually get in the box now. You, this was originally, I think, sold as a set. So you would buy this with one of the, uh, the drawn tablets, originally designed for digital artists. But now you can actually buy the quick keys separately by itself as a standalone unit, which is absolutely fantastic. So in the box, you're gonna get the unit itself. And you're also gonna get a few little accessories, instructions how to use it, bag. But you get this lovely little carry case, which I thought was just a nice touch, which allows you to keep the quick keys nice and safe if it's in your bag because you can obviously take it anywhere it's super portable so it's a nice little carry case and it has other cables inside a USB C to USB A so you can plug it in the computer and charge it up it does have a battery built into it. it takes about an hour I think to charge up it roughly gives you about 16 hours of charge time and one of the great things about this the quick keys you also get a USB A to USB C, and that's important actually because you can plug in the computer direct via the cable, or it actually uses a peer to peer. So you plug a dongle in the USB drive at the back, and this talks directly to that. So there's no interference from any other devices, wireless devices in the room. So it won't drop out, you won't lose signal, it's always connected all the time, which is really, really good. So that's what you get in the box. So with this being super customizable, it allows you to create so many shortcuts for all of your applications. You have eight programmable buttons on the device. So that's eight shortcuts for a program that you're using. However, by pressing this button, it allows you to change through five different banks, five different sets. So in theory, you can set up 40 different shortcuts on this device which in whichever application you're actually using and it makes life so much easier. And also the wheel dial, this can actually be programmed with different shortcuts because by pressing the button, the function button inside allows you to change through five different processes or different functions on this unit, which just saves so much time in any application that you're using. Yet no longer do you have to look down at your keyboard, you literally, you can slide that away and just use the quick keys to speed up the process. So if we take a look in the quick keys software that you're using, it is so easy to use. I've never had a bit of software that has been easier to use or program to create shortcuts than this. It's so, so good. Now, simply to add any application to the quick keys, you just click the add button at the top, browse through your apps, and you can literally just click on the app you want to use and it'll add that app and it adds that app, app to the top of the bar there so instantly you've already added your application that's how quick that is so when you click on that it comes up with already predefined small shortcuts now you can adjust that to suit your preference now all the shortcuts can be found in, found in all of the, the programs that you use and to actually create a shortcut you click on the button you want to uh, add a shortcut to, you click on the keystroke, and then you give it a name, you can type in the name that you wanna use, and then you can also add the actual keystroke for the shortcut. And once you've done that, you just click okay, and that's all added. 
So if we go to say Final Cut Pro, I have mine set up like that. Go to Keystroke, you can see I've named it Undo, Command Z, and it's just one button. And on the screen of the actual unit itself, the Quick Keys, it has the Undo button, it has the re Redo button, and that's how easy it is. Now, on the scroll mode as well, depending on which application you're in, you can actually change how you actually use the scroll device on there and you can change the color, the color coordinate that to whatever function it is you want to use. And also whichever program you're using, it'll come up with a different color around the actual, the, the wheel. So you know which program you're actually using. So, so handy and very intuitive to use. And by literally by it being wireless and obviously runs off an internal rechargeable battery, you can take this anywhere with you. So I can use it at the desktop and then I can take this and I can use that in my laptop. And the whole process is the same because you can copy all of the banks of shortcuts from here straight to the laptop. It's that easy to use. And it really has reduced the time it takes me to edit videos and using Photoshop. It's just such a better process. And ergonomically, it's actually really, really comfortable sitting editing all of the programs that I need to edit in all of the programs that I need to edit. Um, and it just speeds up the whole process. So we'll pop into Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how quick it is to actually use the quick keys. And I've literally just got that and my mouse. So here I am in Final Cut Pro. I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it is to actually just really do a quick edit on a section of video. So this is a video that I've already worked on. Um, and just using the, the scroll wheel to zoom in and out allows you to get right into the actual clips. And that makes life a lot easier. Now, if I'm on the clip and I wanna make a cut, press one. There's a blade, move the playhead, blade, press that again, hit the selection, hit delete, job done, that's how quick it is. If I just click undo, that's back to normal. I'm gonna click back out. Now that's just the basic, basic, basic programming mode. So that is the Sense Labs Quick Keys. I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check it out. It's not a new thing, it's been out for a long time. I think it's been out for about four, maybe five years. It's not something that's brand spanking new, but it definitely has helped my workflow. And it also helps somebody who's getting a little bit forgetful to remember all of those shortcuts because they're already programmed in. So a little bit of time programming in the shortcuts and you're good to go. So hopefully you've gotten something out of that video. And if you have, I would love a thumbs up, maybe a subscribe and even consider sharing the video so other creators out there can discover this really cool little tool. So that being said, thanks very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. See you then.